Well, my latest fighter going into my retired database is another one of my Filipino videos I prepared. This little Filipino fighter um, became known as Little Dado. So we will go through Little Dado's career 20 fights at a time, um, after which he will join my flyweight playlist. So this is another fighter who many people uh, may not have heard of. He wasn't one of the ATGs, but he was an excellent little fighter. Let's go through the career of Little Dado. So in his first 20 professional fights, Little Dado goes 19 wins, no loss, one draw with 1 KO. Now under criteria for videos, Little Dado fought no major opponents um, under criteria. So he's 0-0-0 against champions, 0-0-0 against Hall of Famers. Little Dado, of course, as you can see, has fought no top 10 rated fighters. So he's zeros in that category. And he's also zeros against top 3 rated fighters and zeros against ring champions. Now, future videos when my pound for pound playlist um, is finished will also include a pound for pound rating slide. Um, and I will do some backdated videos to show some of the other fighters' results in that. Anyway, let's get on to the career of Little Dado. Uh, quiet start, let's go on to his next 20 professional fights. So Little Dado goes 15 wins, 3 losses, 2 draws with 4 KOs. So he has a combined record of 34 wins, 3 losses, 3 draws with 5 KOs from his first 40 professional outings. Now Little Dado fights another little Filipino fighter who has a video ready. Um, he fights former top 10 and top 3 rated contender Little Pancho. Suffering a defeat, Little Dado then fights his fellow Filipino fighter Little Pancho a second time and gets a draw against the top 10 and top 3 rated Little Pancho. He then fights Little Pancho a third time, suffering another defeat, before fighting Little Pancho a fourth time. Fourth fight against top 10 and top 3 rated Little Pancho, Little Dado suffers another defeat, so he can't better Little Pancho. Little Dado then comes back and beats former top 10 contender Jackie Jurich, before then fighting his first world champion, um, gaining a draw um, against another excellent little fighter, that is top 10 and top 3 rated champion Small Montana. So Little Dado, okay, by the 40 fight mark, okay, his um, account has opened um, with that fight run against fellow Filipino fighter Little Pancho, who has a much bigger career than Little Dado, um, as you will see on his video. But um, Little Dado is now no win, no loss, one draw against champions, of course, with the draw with Montana. Um, he's not fought a Hall of Fame fight yet, so he's 0, zero, zero. And Little Dado now has six fights against top 10 rated fighters with a record of one win, three loss, and two draws. Little Dado also has five fights now against top three rated fighters um, with a record of no win, three loss, and two draws. And Little Dado has yet to fight a ring champion. Now, I have been doing some lesser known names, well, known names amongst the boxing fraternity, um, but I do have a number of other videos um, to get ready that I want out before October. So I'm going to get cracking on those over the next few months. Lots of them. So, Little Dado, up to the 60 fight mark, okay? In this run, he goes unbeaten, going 18 wins, no loss, two draw, with nine KOs. So, Little Dado, um, at the 60 fight mark, has a record of 52 wins, three losses, five draws, with 14 knockouts. Now, Little Dado fights and beats former top 10 rated contender, Horace Mann. He then fights former top 10 rated contender, Jackie Jurich, a second time, gaining a second win, before then going back in with top 10 contender, who is beaten on this slide, Horace Mann, gaining a second win over him. He then fights a champion he fought and drew with on the last slide, okay? He fights top 10 and top 3 rated champion. Small Montana again. This time, Little Dado doesn't get a draw. He upgrades to a win. So, beating his first world champion. Little Dado then fights the excellent Lou Salica, top 10 and top 3 rated ring champion, who should definitely be in the Hall of Fame. Um, he gets a draw against the excellent Bantamweight Salica, um, before going back in and fighting top 10 and top 3 rated ring champion Lou Salica a second time, upgrading from his earlier draw, this time gaining a win over the capable Lou Salica. So Little Dado by now, okay, he's had four fights against world champions. Um, he's unbeaten so far, two win, no loss, two draw. And Little Dado has not yet fought a Hall of Fame fighter. And on my little Pancho video, there's a little story about that. <laughs> I've had to add a slide on things. I made a right cock up, but it's because I was thinking about something and, and debating it in my head and I did video after and... Uh, uh, little, little Dado's had eight fights against top three rated fighters, going two win, three loss, three draw. And two fights against ring champ, going one win, no loss, one draw. Twelve fights against ring rated fighters now. His numbers are going up. 
So, little dado onto this slide. This is a massive slide, okay? Little dado again goes unbeaten in this run, going 14 wins, no loss, 6 draws, 7 KOs. Um, so, little dado has a record of 66 wins, 3 losses, 11 draws, with 21 KOs. Of course, the only defeat so far to his fellow Filipino fighter, Little Pancho. So Little Dado fights Jackie Jurich, top 10 contender, again after beating him a few times, he gains a draw. He then fights a third fight, okay, with the excellent Lou Salica, top 10 and top 3 rated ring champion. Get Salica in the Hall of Fame, people. What are you playing at? Um, he then fights top 10 contender Henry Hook, gaining a win, before fighting top 10 contender Henry Hook a second time, gaining a win. He then fights another man two times, who we fought twice on the last slide. That is former top 10 contender Horace Mann. He beats Horace Mann and then beats Horace Mann a second time. Little Dado then goes in with a Hall of Famer, the great Bantamweight King, okay? Multiple year lineal Bantamweight champion, with well over 20 Bantamweight title fights. Um, the great Manuel Ortiz, okay? Little Dado, um, and battles the top 10 and top 3 rated ring champion and Hall of Famer to a draw. Little Dado then fights um, good contender, top 10 and top 3 rated contender, Tony Oliveira, gaining another draw before then coming back, okay, like he's done against others, fighting Tony Oliveira, top 10 and top 3 rated a second time, gaining a win. Little Dado then fights Henry Hook for the latest time on this slide. He has a little fight run with him on this slide, um, gaining a win. He then fights his nemesis from earlier, Little Pancho, um, top 10 and top 3 rated contender, but again he gets a draw. He just cannot beat Little Pancho. Um, he then fights Jackie Jurich, top 10 contender, his latest time gaining a win, and then gains two wins from three, winning the trilogy outright by beating Tony Oliveira, top 10 and top 3 rated contender for the second time after drawing the first fight. So there is Little Dado up to the 80 fight mark. So Little Dado um, at the moment, okay, has six fights against champions. Um, he has so far gone unbeaten against champions, okay? Two wins, no loss, four draw. Um, Little Dado also has his first Hall of Fame fight. He's no win, no loss, one draw. And Little Dado now has 25 fights against top 10 rated fighters. 25 with a record of 14 wins, um, 3 losses and 8 draws. And he's also had 14 fights now against top 3 rated fighters with a record of 4 wins, 3 losses, 7 draws. And Little Dado, like against champions, okay, he's had four fights against ring champions. He's actually unbeaten, okay. He's drawn all of them um, by the win to Lou Salica. So he's unbeaten against ring champions, one win, no loss and three draws. So Little Dado has a busier slide there, okay, fights a lot of good opposition on that slide, you know, Hall of Famer Manuel Ortiz, fights the excellent Lou Salica, fights um, good contender, um, top three rated Tony Oliveira in a trilogy, also fights a number of other top ten rated fighters and does battle again Little Pancho, um, you know, who he just cannot seem to be, um, but Little Pancho you will see his career on his video and he has a bit of a deeper resume um, than Little Dado does Little Pancho. But there are a number of excellent Filipino fighters from that time. It could actually um, make a video. I could actually do a special video covering many great Filipino little battlers from this time. Little drink, I'm not coughing. I'm getting better. So Little Dado has a further eight fights. Okay, going five wins, three losses and no draw. With one KO. So Little Dado ends with 71 wins, 6 losses, 11 draws, with 22 KOs. Now Little Dado beats Jackie Jurich, top 10 contender. The latest time he's um, better Jurich. And then he fights another real excellent fighter with one of the best names in boxing history. David Kui Kong Young. I mean, that is just an ace name. David Kui Kong Young was an excellent contender. Top 10 and top 3 rated fighter. Little Dodo fights um, Kui Kong Young the first time, suffering defeat. He then fights Kong Young a second time, and then he fights him a third time. But he cannot beat David Kui Kong Young. Uh, Hawaii also has produced a whole number um, of excellent fighters that very few people give credit to. That could make f future videos highlighting fantastic little fighters from certain territories who often don't get no shine, like Hawaii, the Philippines, you know, like the Hawaiian punch bubbles, and there's so many top fighters who come from some of these territories who never get any shine. It'd actually make for a set of interesting videos. 
So there is little Dado. He's now unbeaten against champions. Two wins, no loss, four draw. He's unbeaten against Hall of Famers with just the one fight. No win, no loss, one draw. And he ends on 29 fights against top 10 rated fighters with a record of 15 wins, six losses, eight draws. Little Dado ends on 17 fights against top three rated fighters going four wins, six loss, seven draw. And ends on the same four fights against ring champions. One win, no loss, three draw. So that concludes the basic career breakdown for this excellent little Filipino battler, Little Dado. Now on to his stats, and as we can see, he beat two world champions in his career, Little Dado, and fought a combined 60 rounds against world champions. Now, Little Dado um, actually beat no Hall of Famers, um, and he fought 10 rounds against a Hall of Famer. That is the great Bantamweight Mamal Ortiz. And in title fight record, he did have a title fight record of one win, no loss, no draw. You can tell I did this video before some others because it doesn't have the unified on. Um, but the unified stats will be added anyway. Um, he scored no KOs, made no defences. And Little Dado um, fought 10 um, title fight rounds in his career. Now, the two stats at the bottom, okay, fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. Little Dado ends with 29 fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. So he may just creep into the bottom area of the top 100 in that category. That The number to get in that category now is getting bigger all the time. It's soon going to be over 30 and going up. Uh, wins against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. Um, Little Dado ends with 15. So it just shows what a lot of fighters will have to do to get into, say, that top 100 specifically when they've got to hit, like, 30 to even get in. Many fighters won't even hit that. So let us look at his KO stats, and Little Dado was not a big puncher. He scored 22 knockouts in his career. Near half of those at 10 um, were inside three rounds, and Little Dado scored two first-round KOs. Now, KOs against champions, Little Dado is zero. Um, KOs against Hall of Famers, of course, with no wins is zero. And he scored one win over a ring champion, which was Lou Salica, the excellent Lou Salica. I might start a Lou Salica for Hall of Fame campaign. Um, he deserves to be in there. Check out Lou Salica's video on my Bantamweight playlist. What a massive CV that guy had. Um, and Little Dado has zero KOs in title fights. So let's go on to the ring ratings and longest unbeaten run for Little Dado. Now, Little Dado was top 10 rated for six years as a fighter in his career. Little Dado was also top three rated for six years. Um, and Little Dado never held a ring title. Now, under the ring rating scoring system that I have created and used to give me an idea of how high and how long fighters were rated, um, Little Dado actually scores 69 points under that ring rating system. Um, and Little Dado, in terms of unbeaten run, he had a massive unbeaten run, okay, going one unbeaten run um, of 48 fights in his career. So he had an unbeaten run of near the half century mark. Um, so an excellent unbeaten run there. So there's the ring ratings and longest unbeaten run um, for this excellent little Filipino battler, um, Little Dado. Now we shall go on to his title accomplishments to close out the video. I am looking forward to doing the video on Little Pancho. He were another of these excellent little Filipino fighters. So let's jump on to uh, the title accomplishments and Little Dado was a one-way world champion, never held a lineal title and held the NBA flyweight title. So there's the career of another little Filipino battler. Um, I don't have too many more retired fighter videos done. I'm working on more. I've got um, another two or three ready to shoot, including Little Pancho, Al McCoy, etc. Uh, Manuel Medina. But, you know, I'm going to churn on and then I'm going to go back to my ATG listings, my overall ATG listings, what are over 350 now, um, and see what other fighters I want to get in there before October. After which videos will continue, but just dramatically slowed down while new videos are done. So there's little Dado, Filipino battler. I'm out for now.